All right. Actually, stream Benet, you're right. We gotta, we gotta go. Where is it? Status menu, sure. Where? Where's my poses? Because here's where we equip bolts and bows of various sorts. Ah, there it is. What? Wait, so... The accelerometer will do things? <laughs> oh my god. How does this even fucking work? Alright, I mean, that's way too sophisticated for me, man. As a PC gamer, I don't have an accelerometer in my keyboard. I can't, like, pick my keyboard up and tilt it around and make shit happen. Alright, let's get the coffee to the forefront here. Oh, shit. is the one I'm really worried about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, like, I'm collecting stuff to craft, but I don't really know what recipes I, like, care about. I gotta be honest, I really do not like materials collecting in, like, any game. Hell yeah. Golden seed? Yes. Yes, 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 dude. Oh, hell yeah. Trees. Oh, yeah. You see any sparkly saves? Sparkly save points? Looks chilly. Let me be real, man. In Los Angeles right now, it is brisk. It is brisk as hell. This is beautiful. Alright, heading in. Nucleotide says, What is the philosophy for open world games like this? 100%? Main quest primarily? Do you subscribe to the school of Ooh, a piece of candy? Well, I mean, I think that the games are designed with Ooh, a piece of candy as, like, one of the core joys of the game. Like, it's so hard to avoid that. Alright. 
Did I walk right past the save point? I'm suspecting that I did. Feels like there should be a save point like right fucking here. Maybe it's just right there. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, where's my doggies? I see it. Dog is juking me like crazy, man. Lost Grace discovered. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in here. And I understand that I can flasks, add charge to flasks, use golden seed, yes. Increase my punch by flasks, sacred tier, do I have one of those? Let's get some strength. On decks. I like strength. I like strength and endurance and stuff, man. Alright, let's also take a peek. I have different leggings. They're better in almost every way. Ooh, and they up my poise? Ooh, boy. Dude, poise build. I love being well poised, baby. Oh, oh, I know what to do. Wait, 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 wait. Watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna get on this horse. Alright, and that is certainly what they wanted you to do. Stone sword key? Oh, hell yes. So, does this mean that I can go way back here and use the stone sword key in there, huh? Huh? Oh my god, Werebros, I'm just throwing this out there. Tomorrow I'm going to my first wedding since my breakup, and I'm finding myself riddled with anxiety over it. Oh gosh, yeah, I think we've all had that experience where, like, you're super... What the... What? What did I... What the... What? What, what, what? What did I thought that... What? Stone Sword Key. Stone Sword Key. Oh, whatever. Whatever. You have insufficient of... You don't have enough of a key. I don't have enough of a key. I don't know. I don't know what that means. We require more Vespine Key Swords. Wait, well, you're back. Wait, weren't you? This guy sell keys? No. Yeah, I guess I'll get this. I can cook so much stuff now. Goodbye. Where do you think I'm supposed to go? Like... Oh, there were two imps on the statue implying two keys needed. Nice eye. Nice catch. Because, like, are you the sort of person to explore over in this area? I like, I like to just be guided a little bit at the start. Guided a little bit. Stick mostly to the main quest initially. I like a little bit of that. But yeah, no, I, I think we've all been there where it's just there's a, it's a breakup. We're feeling a little raw and then... You go to a wedding or you're at a friend's place and they have like a healthy, happy relationship. Oh. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. 
They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. Uh, by the way, all and my questions are rhetorical unless I'm super explicit. Their legs taken, even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. It's quite the lark, huzzah. Sitting sideways. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, well, you've come to be one oh. with the spider. Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. No one it's does. Scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs, oh, don't you worry, nuclear tide looking Care Bear. You guys are awesome. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm just freaking out. Nothing but a craven. Craven. I mean, you know, let me let me go to my crafting menu and see if there's anything I even want to craft. Where are these? Dude, I. I... I mean, I, I don't care about any of those things. Like, I recognize that crafting is a fun part of a lot of games, but I'm not too terribly big a fan. What is... Did I accidentally mark something on the map? see yeah i mean like for me crafting needs to be preceded by what is exciting to craft rocket horse gift in five what up arlen <laughs> good to see you man oh look Hey, look, it's you. There it is. <laughs> Iron Ross says, can you find a channel on Twitch that isn't playing Elden Ring? I think there are only two active categories. Yeah. Yeah, just go to Dota. Dota players, you can't even tell that a new game is being released. Is a golden room. So here is a non rhetorical question What is a golden room? Oh my god, that's good. Smithing stone. Smithing stone. So that's where I came from. Sick. 
sick, sick, sick. Obvious bands. Is what is it that everyone is, has everyone so hyped about Elden Ring? Yeah, nuclear time. My question about Golden Rune is just very literal. Like, what is it? What does it do? So, Mobius, here's the reason why people are excited about this. First of all, a lot of big game devs have been increasing the amount of time between game releases. And for good reason, right? Like, honestly, graphical fidelity is to the point where it's not like if you release every two years, you're going to get big leaps and bounds in terms of the quality uh, and look of the game. This was true in the 2000s and that sort of thing. Oh, thank you, Nucleotide. I see where it would be. It would be like here. Uh, where it is? There it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. Nice. So, um... So, you know, you, you get releases that are kind of like, frankly, Grand Theft Auto V, I think, is a great example. Grand Theft Auto V comes out in 2013. And you know what winds up happening? They're still releasing... Excuse me. They're still releasing a ton of content for it. And there's still people that play Grand Theft Auto V. It's been nearly 10 years, right? Like, so... Um, uh, or Bungie. They did Destiny 2 in 2017, I want to say. And it's been five years. Now, I... I I want to stress, in no way is this a knock. In no way am I trying to be like, oh yeah, these game devs suck, you know, this sort of thing. I'm just saying that, like, the cadence has changed. It's, you know, it's still quite expensive and challenging to... Oh. Didn't time that. Yeah, it, it's, it's been very... It's challenging to make a game, right? So, you know, a lot of companies are spreading the time out a little more, making sure their game is has a little bit more of the long-term um, qualities to it, so that way it's not just release a $60 game, etc. From Software has released best-in-class Dark Souls-style games. Demon Souls 2009, Dark Souls 2011, Dark Souls 2 2014, Bloodborne 2015, Dark Souls 3 2016, Sekiro 2019, and now Elden Ring 2022. Like, that's a lot of really good games in not that long of a time. <laughs> like, that's an insane rate. Especially Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, like, year after year after year. I mean, that that's remarkable. And every time From Software makes a game, they knock it out of the fucking park. I don't need to. I don't need to. They knock it out of the park. So that's one statement. Why, why would people be excited? It's just another From Software game, right? It's gonna be hype. Second big reason why people are excited. They're trying to do something new. They're not just going to do a regular Dark Souls game. They are doing an open world style game. And by the way, I know I can get on a horse. I just like walking around and experiencing the beauty of the setup. I do not like going as fast as I can in these games. Oh, do you mean I have to like use my fucking head and go this way? I don't want to use my head. It fucking sucks. Um... There have been a number of releases in the last five, six years where... Oh, let me back up. They're trying to do something new. They're going to make an open-world Souls-like game. Now, there's a question mark. Like, how, how exactly does that work? If you took Assassin's Creed, for instance, and they say we're going to do Assassin's Creed but set in an Egyptian-themed world. Okay, you kind of know what that means. Because you've seen the release slate of Assassin's Creed games. What? 
the shit. You've sort of seen it. Or if someone says, hey, we're going to be releasing a match three game like Bejeweled, you kind of know what it's going to be like, right? But there's been a number of these sort of like newish kind of idea type games that have been talked about that again, there's, there's that big question mark. What's a good example? Fallout 76. Fallout 76 was like, hey, all the fun that you had in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, this sort of thing. We're going to be able to do this in a multiplayer setting. This is like, oh, multiplayer, no fucking way, it's going to be fucking sick. And you know what happens? It comes out and it, it's, it, it really, really tanks. It just does not work. Or um, Anthem. Hey, by the way, we're known for these single-player RPGs that are really story-driven. We're going to do something like that. Uh, you know, for Mass Effect 3, we're going to do something like that again for Mass Effect Andromeda, even though I know people had, you know, their issues with the production values of Mass Effect Andromeda. You know, it was another Mass Effect game. There you go. And then Bioware tries to do Anthem. Now, how does it work? What's the combat like? Is it flying heavy? Is it not? Is it more of a looter shooter? Is it more of a single player thing? Is it more open world? It's like, there's a lot of question marks when they're trying to do something. And um, I'm using these examples simply to point to the fact that Bioware devs know what the fuck they're doing. Bethesda devs know what the fuck they're doing. It's not like Bioware suddenly became a bunch of dumbasses or something like that. The point is, is that these very talented devs that have been, ooh, have done really amazing stuff before, struggle when they're trying to do something new. Because doing new shit is hard. And when I say new, I don't mean new as in copying someone else's thing. I mean like literally trying to do something that is pretty new in gaming. Whoa. So when all of a sudden, oh my god, there's lots of them. When all of a sudden people are talking about, hey, open world El um, Souls-like game, people get really excited. Because I would say in terms of... Well, that's, that's really terrible news, isn't it? In terms of like, hey, there's another Assassin's Creed coming out. People typically are... I call it 7 out of 10 excited. They're like, oh, sweet. Another one. Nice. But no one's like, oh, this is going to be so different than the last one, you know? It's kind of like when you go to your favorite restaurant and get your favorite dish there. There's only so hyped you can be because there's not that much surprise. You know what you're getting into. Oops. So when you hear, hey, it's going to be a Souls-like game, it's going to be open world. George R. R. Martin is, in, is involved. There starts to be that excitement about like, ooh, what's... What are they going to do that's new and interesting? How's it going to pan out? Is it going to be another stinker like some of these other uh, games that have really struggled on their launch? Or is it going to be something that will just be a, a, a strong execution? Or is it going to be something that's like beats the hype, that everyone's like, oh shit, this game kicks ass. Oh, hi. As far as people are describing, this game seems to surpass expectations. So, like, as I've played it thus far... Honestly, it's been pretty easy. Um, it's not really been that challenging. And I have not yet had any of the Dark Souls-style experience of what a beautiful layout. Um, but, you know, I... To me, that feels a little bit like a consequence of being open world. There's a lot more opportunity for me to wander and do random things. So this is kind of why I'm a little bit like, all right, well, let's just follow straight. 
with where the game's telling me to go. Hello, Despy. What a good baby. Holy shit. Holy shit again. Sweetie. So, you know, some people estimated that the way that this would work, this game, is that there'd be sort of an open hub area. Hub's maybe the wrong word, but a much more open area, and when you enter into some of the dungeons, this is where you get your real traditional Souls-style, ultra-well-made, ultra-tightly-crafted experience. And if none of you have played a Souls-style game before, Souls games are very much so about environmental storytelling, storytelling that builds over the course of the game. We start to see patterns, and if you, like, are really staring at the monsters you're fighting against. You start to see, like, these beautiful themes that get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. But I will say, from like a combat and gameplay perspective, I mean, the combat is incredibly tight. I think that's one of the hallmarks of all the Souls games. The combat feels really, really spectacularly good. Let's go. Stein Marine says, can you pinpoint the George R. R. Martin influence in this game at this point? I mean, depends on what you mean by that, because my understanding is that he did the world building with Miyazaki. So, I mean, in that regard, there's been a shitload. Um, any reason you prefer control over mouse and keyboard? I mean, it's, it's one of these things where, like, I, I, I would be surprised if... Um, if anyone played this with mouse and keyboard. What, like, just the analog controls, movement, all that stuff, it, just, it feels really correct. Oh, 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 do we have a boss fight? Do we have a boss fight? Okay, okay. Way in the wrong place. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Oh, yeah. So, what I was going to remember is that this is like a 100 hour game. So, the fact that I've been sort of wandering around, fucking around a little bit. And now I'm getting, like, an interesting character who's yelling at me. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Let it be Margit the Fell. All right. Looks like we are taking some pain here. Holy shit, he hangs in the air. Oh, what? Look at his fucking tail.
Alright, we are getting out a little bit. I have a comment about some people wondering, like, where's the... Where's the crazy new innovations in the game? Alright, I held the button instead of rolling. Good job. Dude, he does it every time I try to drink. Timing is just a little off on this. I can probably get him in two or three. I'll probably transform him to halfway mark. Jesus, the fucking range on this boy! Dude. Foolish <laughs> ambitions. He keeps going like, oh, oh, and the timing is just different than I expect. Oh, 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 oh. So, yeah. So for some people going like, hey, where where's the where's the like crazy new exceptional um components? So th there's an example I was talking to uh with a friend. So when a lot of times people think about something like, oh, there's something really new and crazy and innovative and, and amazing here, they often think of it in terms of like a novelty form of new. So for instance, the portal gun in Portal, wow, I've never seen this mechanic before, the gravity gun in Half-Life 2 and other Valve stories, right? So there's the um, idea of the novelty. Like, do I come here and I see something that, like, I've literally never seen a game do this in a more extreme mechanical way? That's one form. Um, another one is when th there's, like, the integration of multiple different mechanics, and it actually works. You know what's a classic example of mechanics that go against each other? Let's talk about three of the most common ones in games. Combat. Let's assume melee combat, like in, uh, like in this game. Stealth and power growth. Here's a trio of systems that, yeah, it's fun to have your numbers go up. Yeah, it's fun to sneak around and be, and be hidden and hide and stuff. Ooh, it's fun to do combat. These are, like, known, right? These are known. Um, but if you just suddenly place them all together, they can ruin each other. Here's an example. Let's say we're playing a game that has lots of stealth, combat, and power growth. I get into an area where um, there's a bandit hideout. And the designer thinks to themselves, perfect, in this bandit hideout, the player's supposed to sneak around these various dudes and get to the treasure at the end and sneak out. Sneaking is fun, and these bandits are crazy powerful. They're ridiculously strong. Nice. We're doing it. Well... Because of the combat and the power growth components, a player might walk in there, see a bandit, go up, and just try to hit it with a sword. Never even starts trying to deal damage. And you know what happens? They get owned by the bandit, and they make an inc incorrect conclusion. You know what? I need to leave this area and come back when I'm a higher level. Ah! Our player suddenly has learned the wrong thing. They have avoided this entire fun experience. And so you can do something that's very blunt. Like, for instance, the bandits are invulnerable. So you have to sneak. And the way to make them vulnerable is to disable the magical enchantment that's giving their invulnerability way in the back of their, of their hideout. So, like, in this way, um, when we just try to put various mechanics next to each other, it can ruin entire systems. Like, stealth can just be deleted. Like, the number of times that I play games where there's a stealth mechanic, and I start sneaking, get spotted, and just kill everybody in the room. The stealth is useless. And so, um, one of the core things that this game, as I understand, I have not yet gotten to the super amazing, bespoke, intertwined dungeon type things, but one of the things that the Souls games... Uh, are known for is their sequence and level design. Brilliant sequence and level design. Now, the fact of the matter is, if there's an amazingly designed level, and you release another game with an amazingly designed level, and then you release another game with an amazingly designed level, on one hand, conceptually, dude, you're just making really sweet levels that are unique from each other. 
you're not doing something fresh and new like giving me the portal gun, this sort of thing. But dude, fuck, that's why people love the From Software games. To say that they're following a formula for, you know, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, or that Bloodborne's following a formula, is essentially overlooking the fact that all the cool ideas they had in, like, Dark Souls 1 that they used, they've been used. They're done. You gotta, you gotta think of, like, new, completely different levels that are doing different things. Yeah, there's themes, like there's different poison swamps, but dude, the poison swamp of Demon Souls, very different from the poison swamp of Blight Town, very different from the poison swamps that Miyazaki makes in every one of his fucking games. So, even ignoring Elden Ring, the fact that these Souls games are, yeah, there's this kind of combat that's, you know, familiar and known. Dude! The enemies, the bosses, the circumstances, and the levels are just so unbelievably fucking good. I would almost describe that what From Software does is similar to the Mario games, where, oh, Mario just jumps? Dead Sea's just jumping around? Oh, I wish they would do something different with Mario. I'm like, no, 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 look at how different these Mario games are, how they keep coming up with ways to make it fresh and reinvent it. And we know it's very easy to make a non-fresh, non-interesting, crappy platformer. Just look at all the ones that were released in the 90s. And so, coming back to this game, hey, it doesn't seem like there's anything that crazy, like Portal Gun style, like, whoa, oh my gosh. Um... And even Mobius Band, I'm going to make a, a comment about this as an interjection, says, when a company innovates originally, then hones that idea, and they keep getting better each time, that is a success. I want to stress that it is an optical illusion. The point that I'm, one of the points I'm making is that I think it's an optical illusion that they are honing in on this idea. Each level in a Souls games, each zone, each sequence, requires dramatic, interesting innovation. It's more compartmentalized, but... You don't. Uh, there's no. There's no multiple Blight Towns across the the Souls games. Blight Town is its own area that you just remember, that has a distinct feel and a distinct identity, and so therefore, um, Carlos Trax is too early to come to such conclusions. Wait until you're 40 hours in. Carlos Trax, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Elden Ring. I'm talking about the past Souls games. Ah! Oh, unless you were referring to someone else. Unless you were talking to someone else in the chat, in which case, I really need to shut the fuck up. I'm hyped. Um, so, the thing that is um, coming to this game, coming to this game, I think that it would be... Um, if, for instance, it we wound up hitting dungeons that were beautiful and Dark Souls-y like, that they have this intertwined, brilliant sequencing and design that feels really resonant with the previous Dark Souls franchises, that sort of way. Um, and there's this open world style that feels very comfortable and familiar, but fresh with maybe the combat, this sort of thing. Just because you've seen this in one game and seen that in another game, doesn't mean that setting them together is easy. In the same way as before with my example, just having combat and growth and stealth and just setting them into a game, it's not easy because it's so easy for one to ruin the other. And thus far, one of the things that I'm really amazed by and surprised by is how well the combat and the Souls-like style gameplay feels in this big open world area. And like right in this area, in Stormgate, there was a little Souls-like sequence putting there you know like oh in this grove side cave there was a little souls like sequence now, i'm going to be a little disappointed if that's all that it is five minute jaunts into interesting dungeons and the rest of it is kind of open and meandering but when i say i'd be disappointed I'm, i'd be disappointed if i was like 70 hours in and that were the case i thus far have been very very satisfied i thus far have been very very satisfied and so i think that the achievement that assuming that the game gets there, um, which is literally what everyone's written about, um, the achievement would be the fact that there is such a seamless integration of these apparently disparate components in a way that doesn't cause one to spoil the other, but they enhance each other.
Oh, shit. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, you're not supposed to do that at all. Ah, I got the timing right this time. To me, baby. You can use your shield and your stamina a lot more liberally in these games. Your stamina rebuilds very, very fast. That's really nice. He's gonna do it. He's gonna... Every time I'm trying to drink. Oh, oh. Ugh. Oh, I missed him. I'm so embarrassed. Stabs in. Okay, so uh, he looks to be similar to um, Father Gascoigne and that he has like a one-third, one-third, one-third. Simple Green says, I think it is an element of the FromSoft level design that is important to note, and adjacent to your example of innovation, where there is a distinct sense of open world to the Dark Souls 1, 2, 3 games. I don't know if you like open world as a large conceptual jump from how FromSoft already does level design. It makes me think Elden Ring is new in the same way uh, implementing uh, a concept perfectly can be new, if I'm not rambling. So here, here's where I will slightly differ from that. In a, in a broad sense, in terms of the very literals, like, oh, hey, here literally is how the levels are laid out. Can you literally do a more, like, literal open world with some of these uh, fork-off things? Yeah, no, I, I, I absolutely think so. But the discordance that I want to point to is less with the specific layout of, like, pathing and terrain and what constitutes open, what constitutes, you know, whatever. I, I, I would say that open world games are very chill. They're very wander around. They're very follow where your curiosity leads you. There's very, oh, huh, cool, what's over here? They're very checklisty, which is at odds with the emotional experience of a Souls game, which is about practicing and is about um, overcoming and learning and studying and being really careful. Like, the emotional experiences are completely at odds. And so that's the thing that I am referring to when I say, wow, how will these two games, please jump,
those are the things that I think would be at odds with each other from a gameplay standpoint. But I do agree with your statement that, yeah, no, I think that from an intuitive... From an intuitive standpoint, yeah, you probably... From an intuitive standpoint, I, I can't finish the sentence and fight this bastard at the same time. Forgive me. If Oh, if he just fell off, that would be amazing. I hate this. Oh! I'm not gonna do heavy attacks. And baby damage, I'm doing 69 damage. This is such a well designed boss. It's his summoning his, like, yellow blades. Fuck. Ah, God, so good. So one of the things that I think that is, um, what's this guy do? No, I don't, I don't want that shit at all. One of the things that I, um, love about the, uh, holy shit, I did it? thing I love about FromSoft is that, like, have you guys ever been in a situation where, like, you're at work and people are like, hey, what should we do in this project? I don't even care if it's not a creative project. It should be normal-ass work, right? Oh, I thought I had time. You're like, hey, what should we do for this project? And you know what happens? You have, like, 15 meetings, and everyone is giving their little quibbly comments and feedback, and you're trying to... Oh, my God. The timing of that attack sequence killed me last time, too. Yeah, you ever been in, like, meetings, and, like, everyone's giving their feedback, and everyone's giving their thoughts, and everyone's like, well, I think we should do this here. Okay, John, I really appreciate that. Looking forward to integrating that into our gameplay, or, or into our, uh, our notes for the project. Blah, 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 blah. Um... And you spend, like, six weeks in fucking meetings, and in the end, you do something pretty basic that was, like, the first suggestion that happened the first week. You ever been in one of these? I have I've rarely been in a project where this, like, does not happen. I want my 615. And I feel like with From Software, because I've, I've read a ton of Miyazaki's writings. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. <laughs> Fuck you, man. All right, we're shitting the bed here. All right, I deserve to die. Um, Miyazaki, when he's working with his team, he'll say, like, here's the principles, here's the gist of the goals that I want you to... Um, you know, accomplish, and, and here's uh, what I want to make sure all your designs abide by. And then he just lets his designers do whatever. And I mean, when I say do whatever, not as literal, but you know, not these fucking, oh, well, let's spend eight weeks making sure that everyone agrees with every single decision. Holy shit, I thought I had the timing perfect. I'm wrong.
like the amount of commitment and confidence and designs that FromSoft has is incredible. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh my god. Holy shit. Ugh. I'm always amazed at just how much content is in the FromSoft games. Alright, let's try this again. Let's play slow. Wait for recognized patterns. Dash to the right. Oh, my eye itches. Well, I guess that's the way it is. Bosses also have stamina meters in this game. The right? The right again? It's the same attack that gets me every time. Well, out of flasks. Come here. He's gonna jump. To the right. To the right again. Okay, it's it's literally the sequence where he summons the blade and swipes across. We died six times. To Bell run has all the stats. Oh. I like when he does the running dive. I can dodge that one. No, I had my thing up, you fuck. The game is lying to me. <laughs> he just throws it at the ground on accident. I have one of the attacks on lockdown. I have one of them. Woo! Need to learn Despy's move sequence, dude. She, like, went right in front of the monitor. <laughs> I was like, no, God, please, baby.
My nose itches. Oh. Seems that we've died again. Dude. Actually, I I, I, I did want to check that out. Church of Ella. I think I only have one. Oh, what? You're joking me. Oh, this is not at all what I wanted to do. Forgive me. I've been testing you to see whether or not Grace truly does guide you. I'm and so Gracie. Whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start. Even though you don't use I him. Merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hole, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided ah. by grace. Ah, uh, sure. Well. Let's go. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Dr. Jeebus is Sean is a man who's had his own days of sloth. I have an important question to ask you. It's my birthday and I just had a large surf and turf dinner and a few beers. Now that there's this cake, like a whole cake. Should I just eat all of that by myself right now? Take, take, take a moment. Take a moment to enjoy the feeling of fullness. Wait just a little bit. See how you're doing. See how you're feeling. See what's going on in your body. And then begin to eat that fucking cake, my dude. Happy birthday, too. Round table hole is a place where tarnished gather. Guided by grace, combat is prohibited on the premises due to a pact of non-aggression. Oh, okay, so this is like a multiplayer hub. This rule is in effect when the round table icon is displayed. Round table holes located outside of this world can only be reached through sites of grace. Alright. Alright, let's just look at it. Let's just appreciate the majesty. This is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. The round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. I'm your it senior. Is safe here. You may let down your guard. Cornhog says, so I bought this and I'm thinking of returning it already. I'm thinking I'm the only person who doesn't like Soulsborne games. Oh, dude, Cornhog, feel no shame about that at all. At all. I'm going to tell you why you should feel no shame about that, but first I need to use a restroom. Stay here.
I'm a professional streamer. There's a bright red fucking light over here. Look what happens when I press the button. And then when I hit it again, you can hear me. But if I hit it one more... But that's okay. The important thing that I wanted to stress while my microphone was muted was um, that if any of you get timed out, your message deleted, we're going to be... We are erring heavily on the side of avoiding spoilers, so stream Bene. Um, you got timed out for something that I, I just did, and some of our mods who are hopping in and out might not have seen that. Um, um, so uh, so I, I just want to stress uh, stream Bene and others that accidentally get their message or that are incorrectly deleted on their message, please note that we're trying to err on the side of being as spoiler-free as possible. So I just wanted to note that. Um, and and therefore, some there will be some inadvertent timeouts in that way. Okay. Coming back to Cornhog's comment about, hey, am I the only person who doesn't like these uh, Souls-type games? Yo, I want to stress something. If you don't like the game, that's okay, man. That's totally fine. That's all right. That's all right. I really like StarCraft Brood War one-on-one. -on -one. You know what is harsh as fuck? StarCraft Brood War one-on-one, -on -one, okay? And you know what sometimes I don't even want to do? I don't want to play one-on-one -on -one RTS stuff a lot of nights, right? I want to do something a little more social like some Dota. Do something a little more low-key like a Factorio, you know. And that's all right. And if you're not feeling it, just trust that. That's okay. Another thing that I want to stress, um, Cornhog, it took me several times of, of playing Dark Souls 1 and the original Dark Souls games for it to click. For it to just sort of like... Where suddenly I was like, oh... This is what I'm doing, and this is what I'm trying to do, and okay, there we go. And the way I might describe it as when you're learning a language, you're learning, like, a couple of verbs and a couple of nouns and a couple of small things, but it's hard to ever be in a situation where you can communicate. And suddenly, when you're there, you can hang out in a foreign country and experience the whole country without needing to have a translator. And that's kind of what it's like with Dark Souls to a much, you know, simpler degree. It's not like it's as complex as learning a language, but like, if you learn the rules, not in a way as in like, you have to measure up to it. But there, there was a moment in me where it like, it clicked how the game functioned. And that's all right. And that's all right. And now Dark Souls 1 is my favorite game of all time. Now it's my favorite single player game of all time. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place. Newcomer. New, new, newcomer. There's nothing left to say. Be at your leisure. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm... Well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way... Have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named Lanya. Lanya. She's a servant to my house. You sure? Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin. A man of the cloth. I teach incantations. The strength granted us by the two fingers. And explore the secrets of the golden order. So that one day, if a tarnished of the round table hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them. Ensuring order regains its proper form. Writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. Mm -hmm. You do. Oh, wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. All right, I'm gonna cross you my legs to make a little uh, landing pad for the cat. Yeah. What do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Sure. Urgent heal. Oh, what does this need? Oh my God. Heals HP for self and nearby ally. Oh, I want this one so hard.
I have enough faith for this. This is sick. Alright. Alright, we're just making holes. We're just making holes in my shirt. Mm -hmm. Alright, the usual. The usual. Alright. May the golden order shine through. May the golden order shine through. This hurts a lot. Twin maiden husks. This is what I want. I want lots of really strong poise boosting things. Ooh, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna get this. All right, sheriff. Do you do you want to lie down? We might be we might be just taking a moment here. All right, so let's see. So this this is like the hub world, like in Demon Souls. Yeah, which where, where are we going? There you go. See if I can actually put my leg down here, and if the cat will still balance well. There you go. Oh my god, I have a lap cat. This cat has just started sitting in my lap, like, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And it's so nice. Hi. Oh my god, it's just the best thing ever. It's the very best thing ever. Right, let's see if we can do this. Ah, there we go. <laughs> All right, we. My legs get tired really fast though because she sits right between. I have to like mush my legs together. Oh, interesting. Oh. That's me. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. All right. Let's get smithing. <laughs> Look at this cat. Strength and armament. All right. Can I purchase? I see you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner, and these are my chains. Fine. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Ashes of war. I assume it's better to sell things in this game than it was in the old Souls games. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I feel like I'm... There we go. <laughs> uh, what was the question it was? Uh, Social MTG says, how's the difficulty of the game felt so far? It's interesting. It's really interesting, the difficulty. It's extraordinarily spiky. Wow, someone needs to clean up this place. Jesus. Like, uh, this boss that I'm fighting against? Two bosses I've faced have been much harder. Is it a lore room? Alright, well, 
I mean, maybe this will be the first Souls game where I start using a crossbow, huh? Michael talks his initial impressions in a sentence. Souls games with a twist. My heart says it hurts more accessible than other From games. Is it even remotely playable for proper Scrub Lords? Because I find them just impossible, but I want to be a cool kid so bad. Yeah, I, I, I would say... In... Dark Souls? In Sekiro and Bloodborne and all these. Really, to get through this sequence, you had to just be good. You had to just be good. That's all there is to it. Um, this game, because it's open world, I immediately think to myself, yeah, you know what, maybe I will, like, spend some time over in this area first. Maybe I'll, I'll do some stuff over here before I try to fight that guy again. And then I can level up and I have maybe better weapons and better armor and stuff like that. And there you go, huh? I am fear. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me. Fantastic saying it's lively vigor. It's been 95% open world. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Baldekin's blessing. Bulldekin's Do you think it blessing. vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from. It is a sacred act. So do you like wanna hug me? Oh, my thanks, great champion. <laughs> Juju Rabbits is not so maidenless anymore, huh? You are very warm. Well, I had a I had an energy drink earlier, so like, you know. You felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Navigate oh, it to is the but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. Dude, how often is this all you've wanted at the end of a tough day? You know, I mean... I really respect what the Marvel movies are trying to do, you know? That's great. But, I mean, I think that's fucking beautiful. I think that's just beautiful. The low stakes and simple meaning of a warm hug. Sixteen dexterity. Oh, get the get the fuck out of here! What these bands says, do you think this is, the game might have a small issue where in Dark Souls you have to be good to progress, whereas this has power progression in open world, so you think you can explore and progress to be bosses easier. But like you're saying with the stealth game, the point is that you still just need to be good. Yeah, I mean, like e even when. I've hit points where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so overpowered in Dark Souls. Well, okay, so like, what what is the act that you need to be skillful at? Reading enemy attacks, and then dodge rolling and blocking, and managing your stamina. If you are low power, you might need to do that 20 times. You might need to do that 20 times. But if you're overpowered, like super strong, you might only need to do it ten times. But you still need to, like, successfully execute. Lots of rolls. Lots of... You have to build lots of understanding. Oh, shit. Right. This is, like, a similar room from, uh... Oh, my. All right. I'm dead. All right. 
It's not a real invasion, that's a single player invasion. What the fuck? Back here? All right, well, let's just go smash our head against this shit, huh? Sheriff. What do we really want to do here? I'm really interested to go over to here. All right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah, here we go. My shear bear. All right, Margit. Oh, God, don't start me out in Sheriff. Let's see if I've digested this moveset a little better. To the right, to the right. 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 Swing, swing. Let's go. Upswing attack. Getting a feel. Cheers, uh, wants to climb up. Oh, you little piece of shit. is going to town on my ankle. Oh, that hurts a lot. Oh, I can't believe I timed that. I, I only know of two windows. Throw two. Maybe just running. Oh, my specialty. It's when he does the swing up thing and then he goes dish dish. Ay, 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 This curse says, yeah, I really do enjoy watching Souls games, but I think I'm gonna get frustrated too quickly playing it. I think that the one benefit that this game has right now over the other Souls games is like, let's imagine that I'm frustrated because I keep dying to the gargoyles. Well, I gotta keep dying to the gargoyles. But I mean, in this game, I could teleport back here and explore this. And I could explore this area, and I can check out all sorts of other things. And then I can just, like, wander back here. I don't have to keep playing against him. Which I actually find to be quite a nice reassurance.
Holy shit. I might just have to wait for just those attacks. Oh, my rune's back. Wow, this guy also plays Souls games, huh? I didn't time the roll. Oh, this little fucker! Dude, it's that little... Please hit him. Just gotta be a boring baby. Boring baby. He's he's gonna go to hammer time soon. Boring baby day nine. Timed it wrong. These foolish ambitions to rest. All right. Okay. I maybe did it wrong. You know, let's let's do something out of character for us. Let's actually go back over to here. Let's go like right back to. Oh. Let's go back over here. Let's see what it's like. Let's wander around a little, huh? So, open world game, why why not explore the world? Think I can do this, huh? I contested your damage output for the boss seemed low. I mean, it seemed par for the course for a Souls game. Holy! Alright, I'm getting the fuck out of this fight. This boss is insane. <laughs> la, 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 la. Da, da, da. I'll keep picking things up even though I don't like crafting. Yeah, you know, I forgot that that's a boss. I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll fight this horse enemy. <laughs> he just, like, hits me once and chunks me for a shitload of health. Dr. Roxman says, I've only played Sekiro and not Dark Souls. How would you rate the difficulty in relation to that game? I mean, I'll be honest. Th th this, this feels, outside of the boss, which felt, like, I mean, the boss feels, like, properly very, very challenging. 
The rest of this game feels like like a piece of cake. I like this. I blocked and then I just took him out. If you can get through the first area of Dark Souls 1, you're fine. Look at this. This is beautiful. So that's over there. Cool. Good in rune. see that there. I did not <laughs> see that there. Okay. Okay. This is what people tune into this channel for. Oh my god, Jasper and Bees, just keep eating yourself. Don't trust the beauty of the environment. Juju Rabbit, I think that's, uh, that seems like a pretty fair point. Seems pretty fair. Synthetech says I came back at the right time. You got a Synthetech. Synthetech. Remember how I was saying this game's a piece of cake? Hardest game I've ever played. We beat Merit? No, 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 we didn't. Souls, can you use that, learn that incantation you use right away? I haven't yet learned an incantation, unfortunately. There's a guy who can teach me incantations that I tried to buy from Cassie Shea, but... Unless I did learn an incantation, which I don't think that I did. Well, given that this game has a lot of inspiration from Zelda, I mean, there's got to be something behind this. You know what I mean? And again, I, I have a horse. I can get on the horse, but I'm never going to... Oh. I'm not going to get on the horse for a long time in this game. Yeah. I guess it's just fun to wander around in these ruins. Zero out of ten, no grappling hook. I know, I don't even know what they're thinking. So, the these broken ramparts here, that's these on the map coming across here. So I was right next to there a little while ago. There it is, turtle power.
Alright. I have no shame in farming. You guys will be back on the next load. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. Greater dog boy. There's a lot of stuff over here. These guys are like the same color palette as the... I'm enjoying the game so far. Damiao no Furigato. I would say that I'm enjoying it a lot. I think that... Um, Typically, I play games that have a lot more... Oh, Jesus, it's, a, it's a, alive! Ah, oh, I thought that was the dog corpse that I was walking past. I typically play games that have a lot snappier of uh, gameplay. Um, like, not snappier of gameplay. Like, y you are in it. You are doing stuff with intensity at all times. Um, uh, Lucky the Care Bear, hold off on spoiling. Uh, specific things for a bit. But yeah, like, there's a... This game has a lot of, like, oh, let's just kind of wander over here. Oh, what's over here? La, 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 la. And so, I would say that these games have much more of a ramp-up feel uh, for me. And I, I don't mean that as a criticism at all, because it's just a different type of gaming experience. Like, um... If I think about something like Fallout 1 and 2, some of my favorite games of all time, those games, you kind of have to sit and you start to steep in the world and steep in the lore and steep in that experience and you're wandering around, you're talking to people in a town, you're getting quests and you're starting to learn more and you're starting to learn more and you're starting to learn more. Um, and then at some point, you leave the game and you realize that your head's still in the game, right? It's really, really satisfying. And it, th this is kind of how this game feels. In contrast to something like Magic the Gathering, where, like, I hit fine match, and on turn one, I'm making relevant decisions, and on turn two, I'm making challenging decisions, you know? <laughs> you know, for me, I'm like a total gamer, it's, like, super easy for me to make good decisions, you know what I mean? in this game. Like, for instance, th this this feels like a, a tiny self-contained dungeon. I wandered over here, I killed some of these follower people talking about fire and flame and being all withered and husky and shit. And I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna fight some rats, there's probably gonna be some treasure all here, and then I'm gonna leave. That is like a very traditional open world kind of dungeon. Right? Hey, it's the same it's the same room. I mean, this is just ultra. Okay, now that was very Dark Souls right there. That was very Dark Souls. Like, I've been ensnared in a trap. And that's pretty cool. Strange pulling sensation. How ironic to have you here with us now. Oh, I see. It only shows me this much of the map at first. Oh. 
Oh my god, fucking cool. Oh hey. Holy shit. damage this guy did. How little damage I do. 19 to him? Kinda wish I had that halberd still. Take that. Holy motherfuck! That's so fucking sick. I guess all my runes are just going to be over there now. Very well. I'm out of here, man. I'm done. I'm not going to be here anymore, man. You kidding me? You joking me? I'm out. I'm out of this shit. I'm going back. I'm going all the way back. Do, 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 do. Going to the map. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. They did it. That thing creeps me the fuck out. Oh, shit. Alright, good. Five smithing stones? Fuck yeah. Uh, I'm gonna fucking run. Am I doing it? Fuck are we. Holy shit, I'm sick. Holy shit, hell yes. Oh, dude, fuck yeah. Let oh my god. I am so sick.
Where the hell is this? Holy shit, this game is awesome. I at least want to wander around here a little bit. Oh, gross. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Dude, okay, so this, this is, this is what I have been waiting for so hard. It's the holy shit, what the fuck moment. Because, you know, I, I, I have delineated the difference between spectacle and wonder, right? Spectacle is like, you know... At the opening of God of War, where you're in the fight with the guy, and you're, like, punching each other, and you're flying over, and, you know, there's... You're, like, splitting the earth and, like, throwing mountains and shit. It's like, wow, look at that crazy power. You're observing something beautiful occurring. But this is... This is wonder. This is... Holy shit, where the fuck am I? What the fuck is going on here? So weird to have music. Shit, no. Fucking pick up the material. Stop gesturing, you idiot. so weird to hear music in a FromSoft game. See, this actually starts to feel like a designed space, as opposed to this area. Th this starting area is, like, very just kind of open... You can go from any one location to any other one location. I hear you. I fucking hear you. I fucking hear you. Get me out. Get me out of here. I'm running. I'm a coward. I'm proud to be a coward. You can hear them. You can hear them behind me. Going back to my cave. Climbing right back in. Why not? Could I not before? Wait, what? Passing time till noon, man.
I just can't go at all. Do I need to be, like, outside or some shit? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I needed to be outside. All right. I see, that makes sense. Because if I'm in a dungeon, it's like, hey, you're in a dungeon, you can't do this type of travel, you can't tap into grace, because, you know, cause fuck you. Something like that. I'm gonna go here. Hey! Hey! Despy, come on. Come here. I'm gonna chomp on a few chips here. Chomp on chips, no problems. No problems, Bobs. So I'm gonna mute during that. has been playing for a few hours. Do you agree with Jason Schreier's point that you need a notepad to write things down in order to enjoy the game properly? Um, I mean... Enjoy the game properly is maybe the... Maybe that's, that's a half step too strong. This is the sort of game where... You are supposed to come up with your own plans. You are supposed to come up with what you want to do. You are supposed to remember what you are doing. And for some people, a notepad could help them with that. But for me, I feel pretty comfortable just tracking it. At least at this stage. Just enjoying the view. Dude, like this. This is this is the kind of surprises I love. Looks like he's stuck. It's so weird to have music. Oh shit. Yeah, this is the Dark Souls 3 crab. Holy shit.
Strip of white flesh. Nice. Are crabs arachnids, that sinful gray? I think they're vegetables. <laughs> Trina's lily. No, can we stop pointing, man? Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a peek at our menu and see if there's some crafting materials that we can do. Item crafting. Reveals... Yeah, I mean, this, this is the same problem I have with crafting in, like, tons of these games. Wait, whale bait, you say, in regards to the quashed Microsoft Activision sale, did it did it get quashed? Did that get denied? Did it get prevented? Is that a thing? I thought that, I mean, I know it was announced. I know that there have been deals in the past that have been stop Roni. Holy oh, fuck. I say I believe so, but I may have been misinformed. I feel like I would have known that, but... I don't know, maybe, maybe... Maybe, I don't know, maybe I've just been a little distracted lately. Anyways, on to crafting. Like... Holy shit. Oh, I see ya. Oh, what's that? That's cool. Dude. Dude, dude, Despy. Get on the crab's right side. Holy fuck! Holy shit! All right, we got the crab. See me try to dodge roll away from it. Oh, I'm fucking alive. See now what the move is. I don't know what a stake America is, but let's try this out. Holy 
shit. <coughs> Hello. Dude, do you remember when I was just trying to... I'm gonna get on the right side of the crab. Holy shit. Steak. <laughs> this is where the claw grip comes in. What oh, fucker? Okay. strong enough. But, you know, I think I'm strong enough. I just think we can, we can kill him. Unless he has phases. Held the shield. Oh, he can be up there? Fucking, I can feel the heat on my face. That is exactly the way my cat's been looking at me when I've been streaming. Dad. Yeah, see, this is why I think that it's possible to beat him, because his set is really, really, really slow. And he basically kills me in one shot. You know, I kill him in one shot, so, you know, like, who's to say who's the better player? Me or this dragon guy? Probably me. Probably me. But I'm willing to take second place. What? 
X. Oh, I see. I was rolling. Oh, I hit the, I hit the jump button. I jumped into him. I didn't block at all. as long as I'm not as long as I'm just very runny Ooh, this scared the shit out of me done this in a while. He doesn't, he hasn't done this in a while. Oh. I'm going back. You know, I know the strategy. Bro. larger area than I thought. Okay. See, I really need to be running. Towards him. Oh, fuck. It's that move. That's the move. <laughs> I, just, I can't beat that move. This is the plan. I don't know how to get around that. Because if he jumps and just breathes fire at me, I just, I'm immediately fucking dead. side of grace. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, you know, may maybe this is a horse boss. Maybe this is a horse boss, but... Where, where do we want to go? These are all cliffs. Esper. Yeah, just just have a seat there. Let Dad roam a little bit. Let Father roam. What the 
fuck is that? All right. I'm here to fight these guys. the other one. Alright. Alright, so I'm just gonna jump over him. Horus combat is fucking hilarious. Oh. Okay, now what was this lightning strike thing over here? Dude, it's so funny. I explored the quote-unquote open world area at the start and touched all the... F just, like, one inch before. Holy shit. One inch before, like, a, a pile of holy shit moments. Like the dragon in the lake. Where is this coming from? Like, this is... Oh, shit. Alright, so... What the fuck? The goat... I've, I've angered the goats? Oh, fuck. Jesus! It's fucking goat. All right, big, massive counterattacks on these goats, man. Goats were fucking terrifying. Can't tell a lie. Yeah, it is really nice that there's just, like, 
animals abound. I don't know why this is, like, really small, but I'm so glad that there's no, like, parkour to jump and grab onto the ledge. <laughs> like, I'm just so... I'm so glad. Shit. I want to see something. Nope. Get off. No, get get the pick it up. Stop. Pick it up. Hey, what are you doing? All right. I still don't know what causes that. I know it's in the menu, like it's there on the right, but I like literally don't even know what these shapes mean, man. Is this? Alright. Alright. A little wandering around like a dumb dumb. You think I can see the dragon? I want to see if I can see the dragon. This is what I'm here for. It's bird's eye time, baby. Dude, he's literally right there. Feels so weird seeing this stuff from up high. Look how far away this, these locations are. I'm gonna go cross that bridge, baby. I'm gonna go do some basic baby combat. Will I ever be able to get parry off the screen? Unless I parry. Well, I guess let's parry. Alright. Off. What's the timing on this? So I go. I did it. Will, will Perry go off the screen again? Oh, I see. It, it's a description of what the power is. Nice, 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 nice. Fuck. 
And it's a little early. <laughs> I can't believe that collided. Game. Ah. Ah. Oh. Video game, please. All right. See, I want to be here. I want to go to this place. Where is this guy? Dude, this horse on horse combat is so jank. thing. Like here where it says, lovely noun, so uh, ask me to let you know that you can bind the mount to your right-hand menu. Apparently holding Y will allow you to set something instead of having to switch it. That's fine. I mean, it's easy enough. Who knows where that one is? Who knows where that one went? Holy shit. Now, fighting two of those things at once is something I do not want to do. I want to know where it's down there, man. Some beautiful stuff. Oh, he was already charging. Dude, I'm just gonna hit my right trigger button a bunch of times. Oh, we found a horse boy. You know, it's so funny that there are some asset streaming issues. There are some times when, like, the effects clip in and clip out. 
Well, like, who cares? The game is, like, just so solid. Getting better at horse combat, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? Maybe I was lying. Oh my god, I actually like did that well. Oh hell yeah. This is the same troop I just killed. <laughs> oh no, it's a different one. Hey right, guys. You what? Also look washed out too. Yeah, th this game has a really desaturated look. Very sort of uh, motes of gray. Oh shit! Look at the look at those clouds. Mm, 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 mm. Duggan says watching you learn this game is magical. You know what, I think it'll be magical for all of us. The game is just pretty exciting thus far. Oh my god, look at that red! Where are you? Again, it, it, it is really, really weird to hear the audio. Uh, or excuse me, really weird to hear the sound. Because I'm so used to that Dark Souls style, just like... Just that, like, ambient. Well. And much to uh, no one's surprise, at least mine, the five hours of playing have gone by so fast. Give me the dungs. Teardrops, carrots. Oh, they're both crimson. Uh, replenish the flask to match your type. Or you can't replenish more flasks than your max. Okay, well, sure. And it feels like I'm roughly going in an appropriate direction because it seems like the huge scary bosses and huge scary monsters are all sort of situated kind of to create borders for me. Is that the whole map? That's all I've seen so far. But like before the map was just this and then it started to get grow and then suddenly this was over here so I actually have no idea how big the map is. I think it's kind of like in Hollow Knight, where in Hollow Knight, it, like, just shows you a single screen worth of map, and then as you explore more, it allows you to pan left and right among, like, pairs of screens. So I'm just going to try to, like wander back and forth between the area that I know. Actually, maybe I can get, like, a view and see if there's, like, a bonfire somewhere out here. Well, 
Well, what's up here? It's so weird to have a jump. Oh. Alright. Hey, is your teardrop ripened anyone? Alright, here we go. Get him, get him. Num num, num 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 Hey, look, we got some golden mushrooms. Oh, what the fuck? This game is so Dark Souls. Get me the fuck out of here. Huh. See, if there's craftables to let me remove poison or frostbite or some other negative effect, then that sounds awesome. Oh, that's someone near, someone far. Same guys before, I don't know. It's one thing I do know, I do love a good ruin. You know what I mean? Alright, I'll go get that one later. Love a good ruin. Stone. Oh, this 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 is like a scene from Fallout 3 right here. I'm getting lots of reagents and stuff, but I, like I, I just so often with crafting games, there's like, look at all the stuff you can craft. Here's a bunch of junk. And if you don't want to craft any of these things, then you're just going to be carrying around junk all the time. Uh oh. It's one of those things where I'm like, I guess it's fine. I'm just gonna keep picking up and collecting stuff. Oh shit. Poison in these games sucks.
We're doing it. All right. Hit it till it detonates. Run away in case it explodes in poison. Nice. Give me that. Immunizing cured meat. Poison blue. Poison blue. All right, now let's try to get this thing. Uh, do I need to like horse dismount and like launch myself up there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, let me just. The answer is yes. Trina's Lily. All right. I'm going to do a final trip to the restroom. BRB. I did it. I made it back. Yeah, Valorant, man, I am. I am not completing a lot of these boss fights. I'm missing bonfires and stuff. So that's where the map is, huh? Let's go in, huh? Let's go in! I need to find a nearby bonfire first. <laughs> Alright. Are there any to see? Hmm. I mean, there's got to be a bonfire somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for the never-ending cycle of water consumption, man. Water is so overpowered, man. Let me tell you, if you're ever feeling tired, don't go drink coffee, man. Drink some water. Oh, shit. Water is the best.
Get up. Stand up. Would you invest in water stocks if they existed? Dude. Oh, God. I am so disinterested, broadly speaking, in the stock market. I, am so, I find it to be one of the least compelling things in the world. I fully recognize blah blah put your money in a fund and blah blah and then your money becomes money you know I get that I get it I understand that it's part of a sound investment you want to make sure you're getting lots of stocks etc but I don't know I just like it's like dude let me tell you I had money I didn't do anything and it became more money you gotta get in on this I don't know, it's just like... Ooh, aristocrat garb, oh yeah. No, get, stop pointing. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'll stand here and see if I can see some stuff. A crabby baby. Oh, shit. Game have camera mode? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of being a basic basic gamer baby. You know it says, do you want to acquire materials? And I guess the answer is yes. Golden runes. Oh my god, look at this moon, dude. Yo, look at this moon. Oh, oh. It's peekabooing me right now. People have been very literally tomb raiding. Golden run. Golden run. I just want a save spot, because once I get a save spot, I have five of those raw materials. And I'm going to go back and do some upgrading of my stuff. PC is the only good dog to me. Village. 
Dude, I've killed like every guy. In this entire area. <laughs> there will be no one left. I'm gonna let my like PlayStation go into sleep mode and return right back here. is loud. I heard that from far away. Okay. I mean, where... I mean, where where are my save points at, man? I mean, my god. There's only so many dogs I can chew through, you know? Part of me just wonders if the right thing to do is just start running around on the horse. Like a crazy person. Relocating back. Well, let's go ahead and do one of these. I mean, I'm at this point where I'm like, dude, where, where's where's the bonfires in this game at? Is that one over there? Oh, thank goodness. Touching that grace. Alright, so then if I look at my map... I still feel like... I still feel like I probably missed one. I think I'm really not using this horse enough. Because this, like, closes the distances, like, very, 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 very fast. I think this game is deceiving me. I think that I have an expectation here that is just incorrect as hell. It's completely wrong. Because when I look at this, there there's like save points very equidistantly spread. So maybe there's just none over here. Maybe that's just the way the game is, you know? Or, or it presented itself to me and I didn't see it. What do you think, huh? It's on top here. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't on top of anything at all. Can I actually get all the way up there? I bet you I can. Not a fire in the ruins. I'm going to check there again. I didn't see any. See one. Oh, 
Oh, this is nice. The high advantage to see if there's any fiery stuffs. No, it looks like we are. You're bonfire free. All right. Time to march deep into that dungeon. One shot plot's gonna get him, man. It's like not an issue. Waypoint ruins. All right, all right, sheriff. Come on up. Come on. I know you need those 6:50 p.m. snugs. Sheriff. Lead is bad. Nearby that we saw that we didn't know because that's something that I keep forgetting in this game is that you don't actually need to. Oh, well, what do you know? They go all the way through the ground. Okay, game. Damn it. There you go, sweetheart. Oh, I'm so lucky. Oh, shit. that when he does this, immediately double roll. You have so much stamina in this game.
fucking come on. Ah! When he swings it a little bit. Alright, so this... This is actually going to be a straightforward fight. Stake of Marika. That guy only has, like, three different moves. Three different, like, basic combos. God, Despy, please. And th these are also, like, the most generous boss runbacks I have seen. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I was... Dude, I keep jumping on accident. I gotta just start swinging once there. Okay, this is a, this is a rolly fight for sure. Three times with that one, and it keeps fucking with my timing. Oh, I thought I was out of range. Okay. SW, thanks for the 10 gifties, man. SW, how are you? You get an Elden Ring, man? Guys, guys, arms have like ridiculous range. Three times, ay 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 ay. Ay 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 ay. So we're gonna we're gonna beat this guy, and then we're gonna head on back to the crafty place. Dang it! Oops. Oh, I went the wrong way. There we go. He's, he's a really nice difficulty boss because there's just not that many moves that he has, so you can learn it really quick. 
But he's super fast, so if you mess up a little bit in these fights, it's like you just get hit like immediately. And his timings change a little bit. Yeah, see there, he like... He'll, he'll flail it three times or two times. I'm losing my focus in this game. I can feel it. You yeah, see, it's when he does it three times. When he, he goes one, two, three, swing. Oh, I'm, I'm going to lose the fight. I, I can just feel my brain just melting for some reason. Let's see if I can do a strong attack then. I just mistimed it. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, oh. I knew that was coming. That was a mistake. first walked into this room, he just dealt so much damage to me so fast. Yeah, I shouldn't go fast enough. Ooh. Yeah, no, I can feel my brain just starting to slowly melt away, and when I went to that last fight, I was like, I got hit every single time. I lost, like, every single, um, flask. Until I hit the very last, and I was like completely out, and then I started to play fine. And like, these are like super generous with their runbacks.
yeah, we were hearing this just like... If you could remove that one from the death count. Ugh. All right, one second. If I just close this and bring this back again, I'm not sure why that's happening. That occasionally occurs with this capture card, where it just starts crackling like crazy. Now it's glitching hard. Come on. There we go. Alright, now it sounds good. Nice. Death by audio. I was listening to that and it was just like... And I was like... Uh. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Traverse the ruin. I didn't. It's a really nice touch on this boss to kind of allow you to block a little bit, but not a lot. swirls over his fucking head. Miss the roll button on my controller entirely. This is where you get greedy and try to kill him immediately, not me. Right. Oh, Mad Pumpkin Head, with your stupid name, I finally felled you. Felled you, fish. Oh, hey, nice. Found that grace. Found that grace. What's in here? What? 
tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Oh my God, Selen! Are you here? I've been, I've been to your place. I want to learn sorcery. Ah, a yen for glintstone sorceries. I oh, yeah. guess your proclivities are far from ideal. That's me. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. With a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Rhea. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Sure. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. That's me. Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery. Look, it's Glinstone. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. I'm very, and very mean. Grievances. Young apprentice. Young apprentice, you are a tadpole when it comes to magic. So, to become a All right, sure. Right. So, is there anything else useful in here? Maybe some items. Oh, sorry, I destroyed your table. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your books. Apologize. Apologies. Apologies. I want to learn. 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 It's very important for me to learn. I hope that's okay. I hope you don't mind. You wish to continue the lesson? Very well. I have time aplenty. Going back to here. No, here. Church of Ella. Church of Ella Ella. Yeah. Dude, upgrades. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the upgrades. Alright, uh, shall I upgrade it to do a little more damage? Yeah. So wait, I thought I had wait, wait a dang minute. Wait, wait, what? Where's my... Oh, smithing stone, bracket five, end bracket. I have one of those. That's the name of the thing. So there's like a smithing stone and a smithing stone five. See, I just kind of suggest boss you to fight? Absolutely not. I don't even know. Absolutely not even remotely. What are you nuts? Uh, Alright, and then let's. Oh, this is FE. Let's see. Use all of these. Bang. 1200. That seems good. I wonder if it will be like the Souls game. In that. Because in the Souls games, there's really not that many. There's not, like, item scaling in the way there is in, like, a Chrono Trigger, right? Or, actually, let's use Diablo as an example. Like, man, you play something like a Diablo. You have items that deal 10 damage, and then items that deal 50, and then items that deal 150, and then items that deal, like, 800, and then items that deal, like, 10,000, right? It's just... Like, doot, 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 doot. In the Souls games, it's sort of like, oh, do you like this weapon? You're into that? All right. I'm gonna up the strength and endurance a lot. Sell some stuff and then level up once. Yeah, in the Souls game, like, you know, I basically had a short sword that I used for, like, nearly the entire game.
Roderick Soldier Helm, a little more poise, but slightly less physical. I mean, it's negligible, it doesn't really matter. Vagabond Night Gauntlets. Definitely we're going to sell that. Definitely going to sell the Soldier Gauntlets. This ups the shit out of the resistances. My god. Let's get him to sell this one. Goodbye else. for now. Goodbye for now. I'm excited to get some of those heavy armors, man. No, 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 no. Level me up. Level me up, cowboy. Alright, who wants to... Uh, I'm gonna do one more attempt. One more attempt. One more attempt. Yeah, in, in, in Dark Souls, I had the short sword. I used that for half the game, then I got a Balder side sword, and I used that for the other half of the game. And that's and then you just upgraded it. So upgrading and improving what you liked was the way to grow in, in power. And I don't know if this game's gonna be the same. See if I remember anything about this guy. All right. Holy shit! This guy is—he got better. He's been training too. Oh, my timing is so bad. 80 damage instead of 69? Oh, hell yeah. Love dealing. Love dealing more damage. We're doing we're doing all right. Not great though. Oh, we're doing all right. Oh, shit. You can see his little hand in the air. Gotcha. Oh, oh, please hit him. I'm done for the day. I'm done for the day. Dude, I actually think that what I need to do is I need to jump. I think I actually need to jump there. Well, that's going to be it for us. What? What? Oh, my God. Did you know that Elgato has all these sorts of things? Man, get out of here. What, what, what lets me get out of here? There we go. Well, hey. Interesting. It's perfect. It's so good. So I'm going to wrap for the day. I'm going to wrap for the day. 
And uh, tomorrow I'll see you at one for more Elden Ring. That was amazing. That was so good.